Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with jazz composer and band leader Rodrigo Faina. We caught up with him in late January 2021 to talk about his latest 2021 CD, Different Roots. We also covered COVID-19 and his life in music. His music often transcends conventional and outdated genre distinctions. He blends the techniques of new music and the traditions of jazz, tango, and other popular genres into a very lush, progressive, and evocative sound world, distinctively all his own. Get to know him. Dig this interview. Yeah, good. Thank you, Joe. Uh, how are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for taking a minute out for Neon Jazz. No, no. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, my pleasure, man. So we're in the middle of a pretty intense time on earth with the pandemic and you have a new cd different roots out talk to me a little bit about releasing this album well it's a strange time to (laughs) release an album because uh, it you have different feelings you know because in a way you are full of joy and happy that uh, find that, that finally the album is out but on the other hand, you know, you feel a little bit um, frustrated, you know, because uh, you cannot do any live gigs. Uh, and there's other feelings, you know, sometimes you feel a little bit panic, like, oh, OK, and what am I going to do now or, or how things will move forward, you know, especially with an album like this that uh, is an album for large ensemble. So it's, it's there was 23 musicians playing in the album, and it takes a lot of work, you know, from the from writing the music, uh, producing, pulling the people together, and and everything. Uh, so well, <laughs> it feels good, but uh, strange at the same time. So talk to me a little bit about where you're located and how everything's going there right now. Uh, at the moment, I'm located in in, in Madrid. I um, kind of divide uh, my life a little bit between uh, between Spain and, and Holland, between Rotterdam and, and Madrid. I teach here at the university, so well, uh, I was kind of here when when things started, even for, from from before, and things are. It's a little bit, uh, it's bad, and uh, and I think that uh, the worst part of it is that it changes, you know, when some, sometimes you, you, you get some hope, like some things start to appear and, and reopen, and, and and you think, okay, you know, you, you see the light at the end of the tunnel, or, or you hear, uh, hear about the vaccination and everything, and... Um, and suddenly, you know, next day or, or the other week, uh, things go really backwards. Um, for example, today we were hearing that they are going to close uh, areas of, of the city and that some states in Spain cannot leave the state, you know. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's complicated. Um, in general... I'm fine, and, and, and things in Madrid are, are fine, but, yeah, I think that the, the general feeling, it's strange because everything you do daily, you know, it, it, it feels like this, and you spend a lot of time at home, so it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So how did everything start for you in music and, and jazz? Well, uh, in music, I started uh, playing guitar, and... Um, and I started a little bit with kind of beginning with jazz. I mean, I play some rock, you know, the, when you're a kid and you, and you take a guitar. <laughs> but then it happened that I am from, from Buenos Aires, but from outside the city, uh, like an hour and a half, two hours from, from the city center. And there's an area that there are not uh, many musicians, actually. And uh, one of the teachers that I just, you know, you call by chance, you, you, you want to, you're like a teenager and, and you want to start guitar, to play guitar. And my teacher was very much into jazz and especially at that time into fusion, you know, to play in like like jazz rock and, and those kind of things. Um, so he was the one that, you know, awake this interest for for jazz music so he started to give me you know some 
some some records uh, to listen and 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 that was really the the beginning and and from then on you know i did uh, several things uh i was i mean a little bit this it is a, in a way a little bit about this because the what I noticed when I went out of of of, of Argentina is that uh, jazz in Argentina, or at least on on that time, it meant mainly also like like a way to approach music, you know. So when I wanted to get more serious, for example, I I went to the conservatory there of popular music, and then you have like Brazilian music and tango music and folk music, and and you also have jazz. So those things kind of mix, but uh, jazz was always my, um, especially at that time, my, I was in love of it <laughs> since the beginning. I think that the first thing that it hit me was a record from, from Kenny Wheeler that, that's called The Widow in the Window. My teacher gave me a cassette, and, uh, and I think that uh, listening, to, I was a, as a guitar player, listening to John Abercrombie on, on that record was was really something. So what do you like the best about being a musician? I think that is that I can, uh, <laughs> like for some moment, uh, I don't know, like go out of this world, you know? It's uh, it's something that transport me somewhere else. Uh, it fills me with joy and, and, and it gives me calm, so... So really, when I'm writing music or or playing music, uh, it's this feeling of of happiness and in peace inside, you know. And that's more in words, and 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 also the um, the possibility that music gave me of, for example, other things like like traveling and meeting a lot of people from around the world, you know, especially uh, when I moved to Europe, I, I, I went to, to Amsterdam to live, to study there. And and that was amazing because I, I met a lot of young people from really all over the world uh, doing the, the same thing that I, that I love the most and, and, and the feeling of, of music, you know, and, and, and the music community, you know. That was uh, very important for me. So I think that that those things uh, are are the things I love about being a musician uh, yeah. the most. So when we do get back to music and after COVID slows down, what do you hope we all realize about live music when we get back? I also have like a different. Uh, <laughs> I imagine different things depending on the on the day, but. I think that my, my most uh, positive thoughts are about how important uh, live music it is for for us as human beings, you know, like socially. It, that how much it gives us in in terms of of happiness. So I have this, you know, images of you know, musicians playing live and and a theater or or a club uh, or a club. Uh, pack of people um, having a good time and and also a little bit like realizing, okay, I, I didn't know that I missed this so much, you know, because um, it's been really a lot of months without live music and um, there's a lot of talking, you know, about, okay, well, well the new normal or, or things like this. And we get a lot of uh, streaming shows, which is great. It's it's really great that that happens, but you know you don't get the the, the same feeling you know like like spiritually and, and the energy that you get from from a live performance. So I hope that we all are gonna be back and and, and we are gonna be back at at our best. You know uh, that we we will have the best gigs in our life and. And that people will have really, really good time. So everyone has a perception of who you are or who they think you are, your family, your friends, your fans. But you're the one that's living your life. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really, really tough question. Yeah. Um, well, um, 
I think that I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm mainly a composer. That's not something that, you know, uh, I don't know to say that define, defines me, you know, because I think we are, we are, we are many things, but really music and especially for me writing music it has been uh, always the center of my life you know pursuing uh, somehow happiness through music um so that i think that people perceive me a little bit like that and and and, and i feel like that you know i feel very much uh, as a composer but also I mean, one of the, 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 the reasons also I got into music, it's uh, because I think it has a very important social value, you know, that music, it, it's a little bit hippie, the thought, you know, but that music makes us better. So I'm very involved also in, in education, and, and, and so I also feel like, like you know, like a teacher, and, and that very little, but I can help to make things also a little bit better for everyone with music and, and sharing the things that other people gave me in music. Wonderful. Hey, man, thank you for taking some time out for Neon Jazz today. I really appreciate it. No, thank you, Joe, for, for, for contacting me. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview. We give you a bit of insight into the finest cats in Spain, Holland, Kansas City, and spots all over the world big fans of all that jazz and thanks to rodrigo for his time music and story if you want to hear more interviews go to famous interviews with joe domino on the itunes store visit neon jazz at youtube.com and for everything neon jazz all the time go to the neon jazz.blogspot.com until next time enjoy the jazz my friends neon jazz